Hello, my name is Jesus Castello, and in this video we're going to talk about link list, link list in Ruby and computer science. Okay, so what's a link list? A link list is what we call a data structure, and a data structure is just a way to save data in memory like an array okay so a link list is similar to an array in some ways in that we have a list of elements but the way it works is very different okay so let me explain so a link list every element so there is the first element we select call this like the head and the other elements come after this first element it's like a name says a list so the, f the ele elements are linked together that's where the link part of the name link list comes from so first element is linked to the next element the next element is linked to the next element and so on and so on they are linked to each other in a se sequence okay so that might sound like an array, but it's very different because in an array you have indexes, right? You can say like, give me the first element, give me the last element, give me the fourth element with the index. Remember the square brackets? You can pick any element at random. That's called random access, random access, right? You can get the square bracket syntax say give me element 4, element 5, just give it the number and you get that element if there is any, right? But with a linked list, there is no indexing, there are no indexes, there is no random access. You can't just say, hey, linked list, give me element number 5, okay? When you can find element random um, number five but you have to actually find it meaning that you have to start at the first element of the list then the second element fifth element fourth element five element then you have arrived you have found your five element or number five element right so notice that you have to go you have to walk the list you have to actually go from the first element to the element you want or like an array so that's the main difference between array and linked list right that's why we have different data structures ones do something some things better and others do some things worse right <laughs> it's like the best tool for the job kind of thing the, you might have heard before that's what this is all about right i have hash it's better if you have dictionary dictionary kind of relationships in your data an array is better if you want random access you want to access any point inside the array right well a linked list is good if you want to be able to insert anywhere in the list and not having to expand the array okay because an array ha usually like is implemented in the low level at the C level okay like behind the scenes I'm talking um, it's a fixed size when you create an array behind the scenes is this not what you do in Ruby Ruby does this for you right um it has a fixed size like 50 or 100 um, elements right then what happens is you add more than the fixed size it needs to reallocate it needs to be become bigger that means it needs a new chunk of memory and if it's not continuous, it needs to copy over all of the elements. Okay. But with a linked list, every element of the list 
can be in different parts of memory because they are independent okay and every element knows how to get to the next element so one element if it is your computer memory one element can be here another here another here they can be distributed anywhere so there is a lot more flexibility in terms of memory allocation but an array usually has to be consecutive in a sequence it has to be in the same section of memory right it has to be right there you can have one part of the array one element here another here another here okay so that's one difference why does this, ma this matter well it matters in terms of performance okay so you have a small list of um, a small collection of objects okay and it's going to be changing a lot especially if you are going to put in things in the middle of the list and delete things okay well there may be a link list may be better because more efficient you just have to change the links right you don't have to actually resize or close the gap because an array if you delete um element in the middle of the array you have to close the gap okay and ruby does this for you so you have to worry but there is some performance penalty for that so performance cost link list it's not necessary to close any gaps because that's done with changing the links, the pointers from one link to the other. Okay? So that's the main differences. Now let's see a code example in Ruby. Okay? So I have this code. I have two classes, uh, the link list itself and a node class. So I'm not going to go over every single line of this, but I'm going to show you an overview. Okay? So the node class is pretty small. We just have an X, so this is the link to the next node. Okay? Every node has this. And the actual value. The actual value could be a string, another object, number, anything, doesn't matter. The actual value is stored in that node. Okay, so that's the node class. Now let's see the actual link list, which uses nodes. We have a few methods. So initialize is use the head object, the first one. Okay. Here is where all of the other nodes are going to come from. Okay, then we have append. Append after. So this is how we this is how we add elements to the list. Okay? And right now the way I have this set up, um a new element will always be in front of the other elements. So we are adding the new elements to the front of the list. So what will happen if we try to print the list, it will be in the reverse order that we added, that we inserted the elements. So it's kind of like a stack that is something similar. It reverses the order when you insert the elements. I also have a pen after in case you want to add one element after uh, another node that's in, like in the middle or at the end. Okay, so this lets you search for your target value and put it after that. Okay, the only problem with that is that if you have repeated values. Then it will pick the first one. So you have like the number five twice. Up and after we find the first and put it after that one. 
so that might be a limitation of this code but that's okay for now you call this allow duplicates in some way okay but I'm not going to go into that right now so ne next we have find which starts at the head then it there's a while loop until finds the value okay that's very simple then we have delete it's also relatively simple it looks for the value okay notice this delete yes it looks for the value and it changes the changes the the link the pointer to the next note okay then we have find before this is mostly a support uh, utility kind of method okay for the other methods so you can say find a specific value before a specific node before another node this is mostly useful for delete and finally we have print so with print we just go over every single node starting at the head and we print it, it's the node itself okay so that's the link list and now let me just create one like this link list on new we append a few values a few nodes and we append after so we can test that this is working and finally we print the list so let me run this code for you so you can see it working okay so you can see on the right this the output window and you can see it says node with value 30 20 25 10 and 15 okay so that seems to be working like expected so that's a link, a link list for you okay so i hope you find this useful and if you did please subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos like this okay and thank you for watching i appreciate your time see you in another video